How we doing everybody? It's Blake here from Static Shot Gaming. Uh, we're playing a little League of Legends today. I'm playing Pantheon. This is a ranked game. Uh, it's good to be with you all today. Just going to do a little uh, live commentary. We've got us a Ezreal, uh, a Master Yi mid, a Trundle jungle with his awful skin. I mean, God, what was Riot thinking? They just remade him. They did not pay attention to make that skin look any better. Um, we've got us a, Le a Lysandry support. New character out. This is literally the first time I've ever played with Lysandry. <gasps> and I'm playing my best character, Pantheon. This is, uh, I've had the best success with him. Uh, I almost always do very well with him. And I really love him as a character. Now we're up against York, which is a really hard matchup versus anyone. But I'm hoping Pantheon can do a pretty decent job of countering him with high sustain, high damage. Um, he works a very uh, uh, aggressive target on lane. He likes to just put the ghouls down. And um, and I'm hoping with the shield and everything that I'll be able to counter some of his burstiness and he won't be able to hurt me very much. And right off the bat, that yeah, you can obviously see just with that one healing ghoul that I'm unable to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick at him instead of having one-on-one -on -one conf confrontations because... Uh, I can already tell having a 1v1 fight is just not going to work. It's just, Yorick is far, far too too uh, consistent on lane to uh, even attempt that. I'm just trying to win trades here. Uh, and he gets away pretty easily. Yorick is notorious for being uh, one of the most impossible people to lane against. <sighs> worth it? Uh, I'm just going to have to go ahead and say worth it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, on Mantheon, I'm going to rush some attack speed and maybe grab another health potion. I'm actually going to grab a mana potion so I can sustain a little bit harder. I really want to keep the sustain up versus a Yorick. Uh, and he's already back on lane. He's completely got a huge CS lead against me. Uh, he's rolling at 6, but he's had this huge farm that's coming straight to him. So I'm definitely going to have to watch out for him because he's going to be much stronger in lane than me now, even if, even though I got first blood. So I'm going to want to stay back. I'm going to want to get pokes off with my spear. He's going to want to put fucking ghouls down. Sorry for the language. It's just, uh York is one of those characters, like, like a Teemo or... Uh, let me think of some others, uh, like a Mordekaiser, someone who has incredible lane staying power and th there's no trade-offs for what they're getting, like damage. Uh, also, it was like a Rumble. These characters, they just can stay on lane permanently, deal out the damage as well. There's almost no downside to them, and you just have to beat them in lane, and it's literally next to impossible. But somehow, Riot Games thinks you're supposed to beat these people. Um, you can maybe hope that you can push them off by making them waste all of their mana. However, people who are smart are just going to get something like a Crystalline Flask and keep their mana up. Uh, I could attempt to poke him off, but that's, that's just so counterintuitive. Because he has far more, he's level 5 already. And I mean, look at him. He just puts down all these ghouls, he dealt a good 20% of my health, and just one little fight of burst, and I couldn't do anything about it. I mean, I literally couldn't have done anything there. Uh, see, I poke him a little bit, and he's just going to get all of his mana and health back, and and it won't, it won't have been worth it. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm constantly losing health, and he's not. He's just keeping his health up. And his mana reserves aren't running out. Now would be the time to strike. I can one-shot him with a spear, as long as he doesn't get a ghoul off. Uh, basically, oh no, Nasus is here. <laughs> 
Lane ganked me. That was completely my bad. Uh, we're gonna want to rush Black Cleaver as always. I'm gonna grab a couple health potions, get this. He's already level six. Uh, I I personally think uh, York is in extreme need of uh, a nerf uh, because he just he has way too much. Li Even you saw there he had no mana and yet he was still able to constantly deal out damage and keep his health up with no problem. Even though he was almost literally out of all mana reserves and he had no problem doing that. I think that's a real problem that they need to look at. It's just not fair that a character that can deal so much damage and have such high sustain should be able to just stick on lane forever on end and have no repercussions for it. I, I, there's literally none other than the mana factor and you can completely uh, get rid of that. That's not even that's not a problem for him and I really think that's a horrible way of going about th making their game. I don't know what they were thinking when they did that. And right now he's already level 7. Uh, I beat him. I got first blood and we were about equal in experience. I had gotten the uh, advantage back after he pushed up to my tower and yet uh, he was able st still to have no problem fighting against me. Even with, I had around 50% mana or so, and he had far less than that. He had probably around 5% mana at most, and he had no problems. Uh, I really see that as a big problem. Now, uh, the rest of our lanes, I see Master Yi's doing excellent. Uh, our AD carry is getting decently farmed. I have horrible CS. This uh, York is absolutely dominating me. And I see this as a big problem because as a character that requires a lot of CS and as a character that's supposed to do well in lane, I'm going to have to end up just leaving my lane if I want to be effective at this point. And he's just going to constantly put down ghouls that heal him up and hurt me and there's just there's no there's nothing bad about him doing that. There's no negatives to him doing that. And I I I feel like there if there's no trade-off on a character, uh then there's the it defeats the purpose as as far as balance goes. With my spear, I have to get within range. I have to hit them with it. Uh, it's not a skill shot, but it's got a relatively small range, meaning I have to get f close to them. It uses it burns up my mana, uh, and, and I mean I'm just not I'm not I'm mana hungry compared to Yorick, who just has nearly 600 mana. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to uh, execute some Grand Skyfalls here if I want to start being effective again. And uh, it's not going to be in, on, on Yorick. Um, I'm going to want a Grand Skyfall on another lane. Um, first, we have to wait for that opportunity because Master Yi is doing well, so we're not going to get too many opportunities to go to his lane. We can maybe look at going to bottom. However, I don't find that to be a, a very good. And he's just... He, he has like 90 mana, and that should be good enough for one ghoul, but he it costs nothing to him to cast for whatever reason. I've played Yor quite a bit, and I know his his stuff is, a, is around, you know, 90 per ghoul, and it's... He, he's probably got runes or something, and he probably remains Yorick um, and Masteries that allow him to have such such good mana and such good usage. Now he's off a lane, he's going to teleport back in. Just completely dominate me immediately, with no problems at all. <laughs> Uh, York ended up not coming back on lane. I'm gonna go ahead and run here and pop a Grand Sky Fall. Boom. Good play by us, good play.
I've got a flash just in case I need it. I shouldn't need it though. I'm really low on mana, so I wouldn't be able to win this fight. Really needs to back off, however, because I have no mana. And and this is just a great way to show you that York's been in a fight for at least 10 seconds doing nothing but spamming his abilities and just now is he barely even getting to the extent of his mana and not even really he probably could still cast you know his full set of ghouls and have no problem with that Which I really it's just it's such a problem that Riot really needs to look at Uh, we're doing good in lane. I don't know how our bottom's doing. It looks like they're doing badly. Uh, the support hasn't died, and the, uh, their AD carry has two kills. However, ours does have two and no deaths. So that looks evenly balanced, uh, which is really good to hear. Because as long as your AD carry can, can keep up his farm and everything, uh, I'm actually doing atrocious compared to Yorick. And if I got into a fight with him right now... He would just automatically beat me. So I'm going to let him get free farm and push up his lane. Hopefully I can grab a little bit of experience. He's just two levels ahead of me. 50 CS ahead of me. Just got a huge advantage. Just a god-awfully huge advantage on me. Uh, m lots of people like to build Spear first. I've been doing it lately where I build Heartseeker first, and it's been working very well. So, I'll probably keep up with something like that. <sighs> Yorick is such a bad character. <laughs> I loved Yorick when he first came out, but he was incredibly underpowered. And then they buffed him several times, and he just became ungodlike in lane on a top. And you just, you can't have your characters be that unbalanced. Let's see here. I think we're fine. We should be. I really need to stay on lane so that I can get somewhat of an advantage on CS. Finally get my CS up. I like to go for glass cannon even if I'm doing bad as Pantheon because generally your team might not be doing very bad. And so I'll end up doing something like uh, uh, becoming a strong power for other people's lanes rather than mine. And sometimes I don't get matched up with people like Yorick, and they don't just completely dominate my face. So, you know, it's not, it's not horrible to do it. SG is getting a blue buff. There's a lot Mia. For whatever reason, TF is here. They're trying to counteract the loss he's been having on mid uh, with somebody who's not doing so well like me and I'm gonna try and poke him off of lane uh, a TF was a horrible pick to put up against me but York's coming Ooh. He's been off of lane forever, so he's just losing out on experience. Our other lanes are doing considerably well, however, I got two top now and a roaming Yorick. I'm gonna just spot that, let him know that Yorick's roaming. I just, I cannot catch him. <laughs> I'm trying to get a, uh, a jump off, but he gets away every time he throws his cards. And we're good. Uh, Mia over here. TF can teleport. What I'm going to try and do, this is very risky, but I 
I just have to catch him out once. There we go. Oh, shoot. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, he's got a pillar. Wow, it's a trophy? <laughs> it's funny. He got away. It's unfortunate. I'm not sure if Heartseeker critically strikes on people who are less than 15% health. I'm not certain if that also crits. But I know it does deal double damage to champions, so an additional critical strike factor on it would make it pretty powerful. job that was amazing our team is doing incredible uh, we're 12 and 6 we got a 2.0 on them sooner or later we'll get to 3.0 and there will be no chance for them to win as long as we don't throw the game um, and that's really good and uh, now TF is back here so it's gonna hinder my, my farming a little bit but I plan on getting some good farm in even though he's here he's very scared of me uh, he'll probably only come in to throw cards and hopefully I can get my CS up now that I don't have such a huge threat on my lane. I will just dodge those cards. Continue to miss CS because I'm garbage. Alright. I'm going to throw a spear every now and again. I don't have a ward, so I'm going to want to probably stay. Oh, I missed that. Get a double. I know his game. Ah, that scared me. I thought, I thought the enemy was trying to shoot me. <laughs> Man, he loves to waste his mana. I don't think he realizes that he's just constantly using up his mana, and he's not even hitting me with it. Uh, this is probably not good if he's using this. He might be just checking to see if there's anybody on lane. And he just wasted his cards. This is where I come in with some burst. Uh, he's really low on mana, so we can't really do much. Uh, th I thank him for that, for using up all his mana. My Grand Sky follows up, so if I have an opportunity to use that, I will. It looks like he might go here. I'll try it. Mm. Yep. Uh, I'm out of mana, though, so it's literally just me following him. Um, and I have to back off, and my lane will be a little bit pushed up now, which helps a little bit. Um, I just, I really want to keep it by the books. I mean, might do a little risky thing like that. Panth push, you're all alone. I would love to, but I have no mana to push, and I would really, uh, I need to go back soon so I can get mana, so I can push my lane and be a productive member of my team. Ooh, I pressed my Q and it just, it did not work. I love missing all of that CS. It is horrible. Now, I've managed to get two items in all of this time. That is probably not very good, but they're two essential items, and I'll be able to sort of go and push off of that for a while and do pretty well. Wished I hadn't wasted my Skyfall on such a risky move. That way I could use it to get back in, or maybe, um... Maybe just get back to lane faster. I mean, he's literally have he has no mana. It's TF. He can get his mana back, but I'm gonna have to push up my lane really hard right here. Um, I really wish I could type, but talking to your teammates in league is is such a costly thing because you have to type it out. Um, unlike in Dota, where there's you know. A speech system you can use a mic you know to talk to your teammates and this you have to type everything out and that can take up time that you need to be you know getting CS or you know being productive uh, I could just press a button in Dota and my entire team would know what I need them to do or what I want them to do I really needed Master Yi to put some pressure on mid so they wouldn't come up here I'm trying to push as hard as I can real quick just to get this down 
Uh, I'm not scared of TF, uh, but I do need to push this lane up so I can get some uh, some pressure on this tower. Do a little poke. I can actually kill this TF under turret with uh, poke. Uh, they're putting really good pressure down on mid. Uh, the enemy team just got dragon. Uh, we see a death going out by my team. That's not good. However, I'm about to go all in. Yep, he got blue card. We got a kill. Now we're going to push out. Uh, so we can hopefully push this tower and get it down before they come up here. Let's get some damage. At worst, oh, he's TPing. It's not good. Uh, at worst, I could Grand Sky fall away or flash. Um, I had plenty of options to get out. Good thing they just got they just got mid. They're pushing that. I think I might go ahead and help them out there. Uh, unless York stays on lane, I might double back. Um, but I figure uh, he would leave because I left, and he he would probably know that. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and Skyfall. This is not gonna hit him. It will actually hit him. He he stayed in. For whatever reason. Uh, I'm not under I'm not sure why Nasus went back, but he did. Ow, 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 ow is all I have to say about that. And that's gonna be a kill. TF is here. Man, they really have some some coverage. Our that, that's our ADC right there. I'm really low on mana because of the Skyfall. This is not looking good as far as defense for this turrets go. Um, Master Yi is doing pretty decently. Uh, but I'm really quite afraid for... Our, our huge advantage is gone. I don't know what happened in that amount of time. Uh, MF just got hugely fed. <laughs> just got 163 CS. She's almost topping our Master Yi, who was doing the best in the game. And he's, he's still continuing to be the best currently. Uh, however, I mean, how long can you keep a lead? I mean, at some point, that's going to diminish because you're not the AD carry. Um, AD carries off in Excel quite well. I'm hopefully going to get a little damage on him before he can uh, react. Uh, I don't really want to get into a big encounter with him because I'm low health, low mana. Uh, he's got the yellow card up. I'll wait till that goes down and maybe get a little more harass on him. He's going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to toss that level up and uh, get off lane. Actually grab the CS right before I leave. And here we go. One, two, three. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're good. We've actually got an adv No, we don't have an advantage. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Because I really need to get out of here. I, I actually have my sky full up so I can come back to lane. What we're going to want to get next is this puppy right here. Um because it helps me uh, crit harder since I have 100% crit chance most of the time. Uh, it really helps out. Um, this MF is just destroying. MF is a great character. Uh, I'm probably going to go on this TF, actually. Uh, he, he probably feels pretty safe. And here we go. And the choice is yours, which way you want to go, bud. No, you don't. Kind of wasted my ignite there, but that's okay. I really need to push this lane out and get it and finished. I need that tower. We need to get this done so that that I can leave my lane and stop having to worry about it. Uh, which should happen right now, just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. And we're gonna go ahead and get slowed out of our butthole by this Nasus. Did he seriously just wither me two times in a row? God, that character is so ridiculous. And when I get out, <laughs> he's just gonna wither me again. Wow.
their team is in a giant group. Our team is scarce at best. Um, <sighs> this is not looking good. Um, this happens in so many ranked games. Your team will do well early game, they know what they're doing in the lane, and then all of the sudden they'll just do exactly what my team is doing is just letting them win the non-laning phase, just letting them completely stomp us, and just get a huge lead. Um, this guy's probably baiting. Or I'm going to go look because I know three aren't here. It could be two at best, but it uh, turns out he's actually gone. I'm going to try and get this before... Oh, this is going to be horrible. Uh, didn't turn out wrong. Got me some CS, you know. It wasn't a total waste. I was hoping I could get there before the tower went down, but, you know, doesn't always happen. I'm doing moderately well now. Moderately well. Um, I'm 433, so that's okay. Um, wish I, I probably wish I could be doing better, but... I, pro I missed a ton of CS and I haven't been in the best fights, however I am. They really want me to come with them, and now that I'm not forced to be on lane, I know they're going to have wards for this. They know. They should know. They're all going to be running towards us. We should kill them instead of letting them kill us. Oh, we got the dragon. Okay, we're good. It's a trophy for whatever reason. Yeah, definitely no focus on Nasus don't want that. It's completely unnecessary. Uh, that MF is our main target. Can't tell them that again. I'd have to type it out and they would hopefully know that MF is our main target. MF and TF. Uh, and then maybe a Yorick afterwards or maybe a Nasus because he's so overpowered. I mean he literally just withered me over and over again. No problem. Oh god, the amount of area of effect damage that just happened to me. I mean, I got hit by hardly any single target attacks except for the the her basic attack. I mean, straight up, near all of my health was just taken away with, without even auto-attacking me. I don't know what where my team went. And we don't have a support. I mean, Lysandria as a support was an incredibly dumb move. I don't know why they did that. Uh, the only thing we can do now is... I don't know what I did to freeze my camera, but it needs to stop. only thing we can do now... I don't think I'd be able to kill MF if I tried to solo her. Uh, unless she just totally got nuked by my ult, because it gives a slow. Um, so at this point, only thing I can see happening is we win an epic team fight with my ult, and we, we just dominate their carries fast enough that their tanks don't just carry them because because that's literally all that season three is is the tanks becoming carries um, they just they get so tanky that it doesn't matter that their damage isn't as bursty as say uh, an MF or a TF they are able to deal a consistent amount of damage like Nasus which is you know straight up like 400 damage easily a hit which he can do, you know, twice a second, in some cases, uh, and they're also extremely tanky, and they also have extreme support capability, like Nasus being able to permanently wither me, which is just completely, incredibly insane and stupid. I don't know why that was even possible, how he was able to wither me over and over again. Um, they're pinging me, like I'm gonna get ganked or something, that's not going to happen. Uh, they're going to get into a fight, and I'm going to have to go help them. And here we go. And he flashed. And I'm just going to be permanently withered and not able to run away. 
hooray. I, I just don't understand Riot Games sometimes, why they don't attempt to balance their game even a little bit. He almost had it. If he would have got that kill, he could have uh, queued again, healed up again. Uh, but at this point, I'd say it's game over. There's there's no coming back from this. Our teammates really let, let me down personally. I know I could have been there maybe in a couple more fights, but our team comp was absolutely atrocious compared to theirs. Um, and, I mean, the, the Lysandry, just uh, as a support wasn't a good idea. I've picked some bad supports for fun and they've worked out okay because, you know, I put some thought into it. But uh Lysandry, it's just not a support character. She's she's really a very hard mid carry or possibly a top carry. Uh overall, I got defeated. Um it wasn't a big deal. I came out 553. I was positive. Um it's not a big thing for me. I was hoping to get a win out of that. Um I'm not huge in the league because it's like impossible to get out of these stupid league things that they've made for ranked. I, I have nothing but criticisms for this game because I feel like they, the season 3 was absolutely atrocious and this is like the worst thing they've ever done to their game. I'm at the bottom of this when like earlier I was at like 94 points, no problem. Then I could have gotten into this stupid uh, up for promotion thing which you just end up losing anyways so that you stay in your division permanently and you can never get out and it's ridiculous the thought of having to get through all of these divisions just to get into the next bracket of elo which would be gold which would still not be that impressive to me uh... you're sort of just trapped and um... I don't appreciate that. Yeah, I went 27 and 5. As uh, Pantheon, I played him a while ago. It was good. I've, I've, he's one of my best characters. Um, but maybe not the best gameplay by me. Uh, thank y'all for watching, though. And uh, I appreciate it. So stay tuned for more content. Uh, maybe not League of Legends. I don't know. It's whatever I, I want to record and I have time to do. Um, and I'll see you next time.